I am not representing the Berkstein Conservation District. I, I'm a farmer. I live along the Cobblehawken, about uh, 20 miles east of here, by by the Crow, and about 60 miles by the way of the Cobblehawken. <laughs> uh, uh, we have a 118-acre farm. We milked cows for 25 years. We sold the cows 10 years ago. Uh, I've been on the Berks County Conservation Board. This is my 10th year. It's my fourth year as being chairperson. We have great policy. And I, I just want to address that too quickly is, um, two years ago I did a little study on how many volunteer hours our associate directors and directors put in. That year I counted up 2,500. Between all the committee meetings, board meetings, uh, seed, uh, our tree seedling sale, uh, conferences, uh, Envirothon, uh, Don Hartman School, it goes on and on and on and on. What's 2,500 hours of volunteer work worth? I don't know how many professionals, there's some lawyers here. What do you charge for professionals? To, uh, 25 is 50 bucks an hour too little? Twenty-five, fifty. That's one hundred and twenty-five thousand bucks worth of free management services to the community. I'm sure you're no different. There are not are many volunteers in this country. Only about twenty percent of the people volunteer, and their average amount of volunteer per a year is fifty-four hours. We got a beat. And uh, enough money to do the job that they want us to do. And so it's like putting half a roof on a house. It doesn't matter how good the half is, you know, a roof, the building's going to rot anyway. They're not giving us enough money to do the jobs that we should be doing. Some of the different counties with your yeah. county to do some of our ENS work. That was part of the challenge, and that's what I want to talk about next, is uh, uh, some of the agricultural, uh, economic things with agriculture, if that's okay. Coffee. Let's talk about coffee. What does a pound of coffee cost? Nine bucks. Huh? Nine, nine bucks. Nine bucks. Nine bucks. Yeah, well, that's probably that stuff that's been eaten by some ferret. <laughs> <laughs> and then thoroughly washed, I hope. Uh, <laughs> but, okay, uh, right now uh, on the uh, Wall Street Journal, no, the, uh, the Wall Street Journal, the uh, uh, Colombian coffee is about $2 a pound. And um, Brazilian's a dollar and twenty. So when you buy a pound of coffee at the grocery market down there for three bucks, that's what it is, roasted in a can. How much of that money stays in your community? Not much. I saw somebody say that. A little bit that the clerk makes, if you're lucky enough that the stores own in the community, and they're generally not anymore. Huh? In the case of chickens, we have what market contracts, production contracts of uh, cash sales, three different ways of selling eggs. That money, just as, uh, most of the money for uh, that coffee ends up going to Brazil or to Ecuador. It's money that's exported from the United States into that country. Just the same way, when we export eggs from Lebanon County, there's probably a, a million and a half layers in this county. That surplus, that's dollars coming back here in a big way that support this community. There's, the productivity of our acres is so much more immense than the productivity of the big state's agriculture. I mean, if we had to get 1.3 million acres and you would have to put Lancaster, Berks, York, Lebanon together, if we could go acre per acre, our productivity probably competes as high as anybody in the nation. Lots, I mean, there's a lot of value here, agriculturally. Um, but let's talk about uh, conservation and numbers. What's a conservation? What is cons uh, we, we talked about agriculture, and everybody knows that that's important. It generates a lot of the dollars, and, and it's important to the community, and people don't understand it, and blah, blah. But conservation, what is conservation work? to a farmer. Uh, Forty years ago, how many, how many bushels of corn did you make?
per acre in Lebanon? Hundred? Ninety? Oh. What's it today? Hundred fifty? Some over two hundred. Okay, so we've had what well, give me an increase in the last forty years of in corn production. Sixty bushels per acre on an average? How much of that's because there's been a really good conservation plan generated? That's a hard question to answer. You know, yeah, you, you, you're, you're growing corn today with a lot less soil erosion. It's hard to grow corn no matter how good the genetics on a rock. Yeah, rock. <laughs> <laughs> or with the most fertilizer or the best management possible. If you got a rock, you can't grow a bit of corn. Is it fair to say that maybe a third of the increase might be because of the conservation planning, no-till, all practices? That would be 20 bushels. Could you give me 20 bushels? What are 20 bushels of corn worth? Four bucks a bushel? $80? 100 acre farm? 8,000? Multiplier effect on that? How many times does that go in the community? That's just from a conservation point of view. That's not the agricultural, all the rest of the agricultural dollars. Because to put a conservation plan in effect, that farmer's making more money. What about dairy farmer? How much has milk changed in the last 40 years? 12,000 to what do you do now? 25? 13,000 pounds increase? When I went to school again, they used the formula about a third, a third, and a third. Third genetic, a third environment, a third management. Getting those cows out of the stream how many, and the, lowering the stomatic cell count. And, and what's the conservation part and nutrient management part of that worth? And the reason. So, thousand pounds, will you give me a thousand pounds because of conservation practices? Out of that 13,000, what's a thousand pounds of milk worth? 12 bucks a hundred, 120 bucks, 100 cows, $12,000 multiplier effect or how many times it goes around in the community, that conservation plan one year means a whole lot to that farmer and to the community. So the couple bucks we spend on nutrient management to generate that kind of dollars is nothing year after year after year. Important. Why is farming important to this community? It's the, 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 point, the point is that I'm trying to make is that the amount of money that, and the economic driver of this county is phenomenal. People don't understand how much agriculture we have, the value of the agriculture. Uh, we don't ourselves appreciate it. Uh, conservation plants, what are they worth? You can't do anything, you can't sell a pig without one. It's been done very, yeah. and below the radar, we've been too successful that we didn't even have to ever tell people what we did and justify why, why we're doing it. Exactly. it was never we have a unique role here. But nobody knows what it is. And people do not know what it is, because we don't know what it is. And we don't define it well. Another thought about what we're going to be doing is conservation districts. I think in the future we're going to end up doing a lot of more chapter 2, 102 uh, re uh, re regulations. We're going to be doing nutrient trading. We're going to be doing uh, 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 post-closure sites for, uh, for ENS. We're going to be doing uh, total loading of nutrient stuff, it's total soluble. The conservation district's job is going to become bigger and bigger and bigger. And who's going to do it? Do you want the state to do it? Do you want the DEP to do it? Do you want the EPA to do it? It's best be, being done. We have to find mechanisms for funding it that make sense. And it's stuff that's got to be done. It's, just, it's not stuff that you can get away with not doing. I, well, you come back to your chicken house and selling the eggs to McDonald's. Sure. They're going to require those plans, whether the conservation district is here or whether it isn't. If they have to get them elsewhere, but it's going to take years, you know, for, and they have to go to Harrisburg to get them. Is our community, our agriculture community, going to stand behind that? Are they going to accept that difference in being able to get it here in Lebanon or go to Harrisburg to get it? Did you ever, did you ever try to get a permit through when there were obstacles in your way? Yeah, well, sure. I mean, we have a dairy farmer in Berks County that wanted to build a big dairy operation, and it hasn't happened because you couldn't get the permitting right.
It's a, it's right, and and, and if, you, if, if, if if we do if the fact that we've been doing the job as well as we have almost makes us invisible. That's what's happened. We've been we've been flying the low. Nobody. There's many different points of view. Nobody should be telling anybody what to do. We should be coming at this together and working together, so everybody values what each other does. And that's.